always nice to bring some happiness into people's lives. My beloved, you haven't forgotten me, have you? I'm eager. I've taken the goldfish bowl. things happen, and sometimes nobody's to blame. Horrible oh, how it says, stares at me. He who makes a mistake and Not fails for my to city, rectify man. it, really commits not. another. Confucius says this. Yes? How can I help you? I would love to get rid of this ghost for you. Only two, please. I'll wrap it up for you right away. I'll only go if I'm offered a new palace to live in. So you have it. Is it any wonder that I can't sell anything here anymore? I have to go. Somehow I imagined I'd be housed in a different temple. Much, uh, bigger. Oh well. A stupid Scotsman, a hesitating human, and now a blather and bottle genie? This is the lousiest crew I've ever belonged to! Confucius says, did you ever actually have a crew? Uh, well, I was on a ship once, and one man can sometimes be as important as a whole crew. You never had a crew, did you? You're so pathetic. A big mouth and no brains, eh? Oh yeah? And what's behind your noble demeanor except a lot of hot hair? I don't want to overtax your mental powers. So I'll say only this. I'm made of water and can assume the different states of water, liquid and vapor. That sounds disgusting and I don't want to hear any more about it. Let's wait and see. on your forgery skills. So, what's this all about? I would like a train ticket to Scotland, please. Very well. Let's see. To do that, I need paper and a printing plate with an official seal. I can do that no problem if you bring me those two things. I'll even do it for you free of charge as you got rid of that pest for me. I have a sort of stamp here. Excellent. All I need now is the paper. Here's the paper. Excellent. I have everything now. I'll start work right away. I'll start work right away. And here we have a train ticket hot off the press for a trip to Scotland. And listen, as you have so kindly liberated me from the most gruesome creature in the universe, and because you don't exactly seem to count the law enforcement agents among your best friends, I have another task for you. But it won't really help you with your current predicament. A purely private pleasure, if you get my drift. Your big search 
will be fantastic, even without this little assignment. Okay, I understand. Very good. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, then just talk to me about it. Otherwise, I wish you an enjoyable and restful time in the Scottish North. Can I help you? About this special assignment. Oh yes, the special assignment. All right, listen, I'm particularly interested in a, let's call it, serum that is said to have special powers. I'll only tell you this much. I found out it's supposed to be buried under an old gibbet tree here in the middle of the city. This was where the last London vampire was hanged, a gruesome tale. If you bring me the serum, you can choose any item you want from my range of goods. The stuff may not be very useful, but you can certainly have some fun with it. assignment. Oh yes, the special assignment. Have you got it? No. All I have is this note. Let me see. Oh no, another vampire has taken the serum. He says in the note he's taken it to a different, safer place. And it's down by the harbour, protected by a wooden stake. You should go there, and hopefully you'll find the serum. Meanwhile, of course, you can pick something from my range of goods. I'd like the fantastic record player. An excellent choice. We will deliver it to your home as quickly as possible. The bollard is firmly fixed into the ground. I can't get it out. The bollard is firmly fixed into the ground. I can't get it out. Can I help? 
help you. About this special assignment. Oh yes, the special assignment. Well, have you got it? Just another note. Let me see. Damn the scoundrel! Ivan the Third has stolen it and left this stupid note. He only used the serum for a little while and then hid it somewhere else, at the bottom of a dry well near an old theater. Well, maybe you'll find it eventually, and you can choose something else from my range of items. I'd like the ornate mirror. An excellent choice. We will deliver it to your home as quickly as possible. It's seen better days. It's seen better days. It's seen better days. It's seen better days. Assignment. Oh yes, the special assignment. And what have you got there? A note. Naturally, what else could it be? Hey, it says here that the thief won't disclose the new hiding place. He has scattered three clues in Latin around the city. Oh, well, someone has to go and look for them and translate these things. Only then will you know where we can actually find this thing. How do I know there won't just be another note waiting for me there? Well, this note is dated last week, so there's a good chance that it's the last clue. So, would you like to choose something else? I'd like the fabulous polar bear skin. An excellent choice. We will deliver it to your home as quickly as possible. Supposedly 
And oil. Hello, and welcome to the railway company. We hope you have a pleasant journey. Just a moment. Haven't you travelled on this train before? Um, uh, no. You must be confusing me with someone else. Uh, apologies. Since the accident back then, uh, I've been a little uh, uh, confused. You're not the only one. I beg your pardon. Oh, nothing. Oh, that's wicked. Really wicked. Are we there yet? No. I'm hungry. Shut up, Confucius. What a lousy team you are. We can play my favorite game. When I start a sentence with, Confucius says, you must do what I say. And if I start a sentence any other way, and you still do it, then you lose. I'm not sure about this. You could exploit it. Even so, it sounds quite funny. Stop it! I'm in no mood for laughing. If I had one wish left, I'd like to live my next ghost life without a load of crybabies. I've travelled along this part of the track once before, with my parents and my... sister. And it happened here. I didn't do what I was supposed to do, and that cost my sister her life. The blood-red sun out there is driving me mad. Great! The kid is drowning in self-pity and this chump is lost for words! Oh, so I'm of no further use to you. I feel ill. What a relief! 
At last, you actually understand that you serve no purpose. I'd really like to chop you in half right now, but I don't have the strength. Hmm, no strength, eh? That would come in very handy. If you can't even find it in yourself to counter my compelling arguments. I can just as well jump out of the train now, can't I? Well, I didn't want to say it myself, but it's a thought. It would serve no purpose. At least I would have peace and quiet. Confucius says... I hate you, you little runt. And I hate this train. I'm not good enough for you. I'll just go somewhere else. Under these circumstances, Confucius will keep his mouth shut. Did you say that? That was Ethan, the professor's assistant. Only he was in disguise. But what is he doing here? He's surely up to no good. We must shake him off as quickly as possible. 